and teachers will need to wait a little longer before they're considered next in line to receive a COVID-19 vaccine. And now concerns about their health grows as the classrooms start to fill back up. CBS 12's Luli Ortiz sits down with a teacher who nervously is waiting for her shot of safety. Luli? While one math teacher loves coming up with innovative ways to help her students learn remotely, she cannot wait to get back into the classroom when she gets the vaccine. And now she has no idea when that will be. Not at this time. Governor Ron DeSantis suggesting today that teachers and school staff will remain off the COVID-19 vaccine priority list, at least for now. And that's not sitting well for some essential workers who had hoped to be included in the next phase of vaccinations. I'm very fearful that I'm going to be called back to work before I'm able to get a vaccine. Seventh grade math teacher Deborah Conant wants to get back in front of her students, but she doesn't want to get sick. With a vaccine, I would be willing to go back. At first, she was thrilled that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention included teachers as essential workers for their second priority group of vaccinations. But in Florida, that may not be the case. The governor delaying their shot of protection, potentially until the single dose Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine is approved, and that could take months. Educators, our morale is probably the lowest I've ever seen it in my career. And shots like this from from the governor, it just it just makes it go lower and lower and lower. Many teachers argue that while frontline workers and the elderly need the protection first, educators are also in the environment where they're working in closed space for hours, where social distancing is not practical or even possible. There's tens of thousands of us. Are they going to prioritize the teachers who were given remote teaching for health reasons first and then others? Are they like, what is the plan? Like nobody has a plan. I'm Lily Ortiz, CBS 12 News.